tapestry of life. Each thread represents a belief, a conviction so deep that it colors our world, shapes our decisions, and defines our path. Think back to a moment when a single belief lit the darkness like a beacon guiding you through uncertainty. Was it the belief in your own strength, the belief in the kindness of strangers, or perhaps the belief in the inevitability of change for the better? Our beliefs are like seeds planted in the fertile ground of our consciousness, nurtured by our experiences and watered by our emotions. They grow silently and persistently into the trees under whose shade our lives unfold. But where do these beliefs come from? Are they the legacy of our ancestors carried in the whispers of old stories, or are they born from the fires of our own trials, resilient and radiant in their truth? Tonight, we embark on a journey together, not just to explore the landscapes of belief, but to unearth the bedrock of conviction upon which our greatest achievements stand. This journey is not about traversing physical distances, but about closing the gap between who we are and who we believe we can become. At the heart of every dream, beneath the surface of every goal, lies a belief so potent that it can move mountains, cross oceans, and transform lives. But how do we harness this power? How do we nurture our beliefs until they are strong enough to bear the weight of our dreams? As we peel back the layers of our own stories, we uncover the moments of choice. Those pivotal points where belief was either our compass or our anchor. We've all faced them, those moments of decision where the path diverged and the future seemed a puzzle whose pieces were scattered by the winds of doubt. Yet here we stand, the sum total of our beliefs, a living testament to the power of conviction. Our gathering today is more than a celebration of individual journeys. It's a testament to the collective human spirit that thrives on connection, understanding, and most importantly, belief. There was a time when the seeds of doubt were sown deep within my spirit, a time when the echo of my aspirations was drowned out by the whispers of insecurity. This was a chapter of my life when the reflection in the mirror was a stranger and the path ahead was shrouded in the fog of uncertainty. The journey began in the quiet desperation of a heart-seeking purpose, a soul yearning for connection, and a mind cluttered with the debris of unfulfilled potential. Imagine standing at the precipice of change, where the fear of the unknown wrestles with the yearning for transformation. It was in this crucible of introspection that the first flicker of belief ignited within me. It started as a whisper, a gentle murmur, amidst the cacophony of doubt saying, what if? What if the stories we tell ourselves about who we are and what we can achieve are just that, stories? And what if we have the power to rewrite those narratives, to change the script of our lives into one where we are the heroes of our own epic? The road from doubt to belief is paved with the milestones of our failures and the signposts of our resilience. With each stumble, each fall, we are gifted the opportunity to rise, to dust off the detritus of our setbacks and to gaze once more upon the stars of our greatest ambitions. It was through the lens of my own missteps and misfortunes that I began to see not the impossibility of the dream, but the possibility of the journey. Transformation is not a momentary flash of enlightenment, but a diligent pursuit of growth a daily commitment to push beyond the boundaries of our comfort zones and to embrace the discomfort that accompanies evolution. There were days when the cloak of doubt seemed an inseparable part of my being. Days when the weight of my fears that dead my spirit to the ground. Yet it was in the act of confronting these fears, of looking them squarely in the eyes and declaring, you will not define me. That belief began to take root belief, I discovered, is not the absence of doubt, but the determination to move forward in spite of it. It is the choice to focus not on the darkness of the night, but on the promise of the dawn. And so I chose to believe in the potential that lay dormant within me, in the power of my own voice, and in the infinite capacity of the human heart to overcome, to adapt, and to thrive. This belief was nurtured not in isolation, 
but in the fertile soil of community, in the sacred spaces where our stories intersect and our vulnerabilities become our strengths. It was in the sharing of my journey in the raw and unvarnished truth of my experiences that I found the most profound connection to others. For every time I voiced my fears, I was met with nods of understanding. And every time I shared my dreams, I was buoyed by the collective hope of those around me. And what are the moments of triumph, you may ask? They were there, shining beacons on the journey from doubt to belief, not in the form of grand achievements, but in the simple yet profound realization that I was no longer the prisoner of my own insecurities. The victories lay in the quiet mornings when I awoke with a sense of purpose, in the laughter that danced through my conversations and in the peace that settled over me as I lay down to rest at night, knowing that I was, inch by inch, becoming the architect of my own destiny. As we stand here today, at the confluence of our shared humanity, I extend my hand to you, inviting you to join me on this voyage of discovery. For the journey from doubt to belief is not a solitary trek, but a pilgrimage we embark upon together, a testament to the indomitable spirit that resides within each of us. Let us dare to dream, to reach for the stars with the tenacity of those who know that it is not the absence of fear that defines us, but the courage to face it head on. Have you ever paused to wonder about the strength that lies dormant within you? waiting for the spark of belief to ignite it into a roaring fire. There's a power in belief that transcends logic, that defies the confines of reality as we are. It's the power that turns obstacles into stepping stones, despair into hope, and dreams into reality. This power doesn't discriminate. It doesn't choose based on past successes or failures. It's available to each and every one of us waiting patiently for us to realize that the key to unlocking our greatest potential lies within. Imagine, if you will, a seed. To the untrained eye, it's nothing more than a speck, insignificant and easy to overlook. Yet within it lies the potential for life, for growth, for beauty beyond measure. But what does it take for this seed to transform? It requires soil, water, sunlight, but most importantly, it requires belief. The belief that from the smallest of seeds, the mightiest of trees can grow. The unsense of belief, the understanding that from the depths of our being, we have the capacity to grow, to flourish, and to reach heights we never thought possible. But belief is not just about personal growth or individual achievement. Its power extends far beyond the boundaries of our own lives, touching the hearts and souls of those around us. When we believe in someone, we light a candle in their heart, a beacon that guides them through their darkest moments. This is the power of belief. It's contagious. It spreads like wildfire, igniting a passion for life and a determination to succeed in others. There are moments, brief and fleeting, where the veil between what is and what could be thins. And in those moments, we catch a glimpse of the extra. These are the moments when we realize that belief is not a passive state of mind, but an active force, a catalyst for change that can alter the very course of our destiny. It challenges us to see beyond our limitations, to push against the boundaries of our perceived capabilities, and to embark on a journey of transformation that reshapes not only our own lives, but the world around us. So I ask you, what do you believe about yourself, about your capacity for love, for kindness, for greatness, and how does this belief shape the way you navigate the world, the choices you make, and the dreams you dare to dream? Therefore, it is in answering these questions that we uncover the true power of belief a force so mighty that it can move mountains and bridge the gap between the impossible and the achievable. But let us not forget, belief requires nourishment. It thrives on encouragement, on positivity, on the relentless pursuit of our highest ideals. It demands that we stand firm in the face of adversity, that we hold on to our dreams, 
even when the world tells us to let go, and that we never lose sight of the light that belief ignites within our souls. As we journey through life, let us carry the torch of belief, passing it on to those we meet along the way. For in sharing our light, we illuminate the path for others, creating a world where belief is the foundation upon which we build our shared future. A world where every person recognizes their inherent worth, their potential for greatness, and the indomitable strength that lies within the heart of those who believe. Consider for a moment the mountains that have risen on your path, imposing an insurmountable. These mountains, with their steep cliffs and shadowed valleys, are not barriers to our journey, but invitations to climb higher, to push beyond the limits of our yesterday. But how does one scale such heights when the weight of uncertainty anchors us to the ground? The answer, my friends, lies in the power of our belief, in the unwavering faith in our ability to overcome. For every challenge we encounter is not a roadblock, but a stepping stone, a lesson clothed in the guise of an obstacle, teaching us about the depth of our resolve and the magnitude of our spirit. Imagine the caterpillar cocooned in darkness, its world confined to the limits of its silk prison. To the caterpillar, this cocoon is the end, a place of confinement. Yet it is within this very darkness that transformation occurs, that wings are formed, and a butterfly emerges to dance with the wind. Like the caterpillar, we too are often shrouded in the cocoons of our challenges, unable to see the wings we are growing, the strength we are gaining, and the heights we are destined to soar. It is said that the night is darkest just before the dawn, and so it is with our struggles. In those moments when hope seems a distant memory and despair, a close companion, remember that it is always within our darkest hours that we discover our brightest light. This light, this inner beacon, guides us through the storm, offering hope where there was despair, strength where there was weakness, and victory where there was defeat. To overcome our challenges, we must first embrace them, not as enemies, but as teachers. We must listen to the whispers of wisdom carried on the winds of our trials, learning to bend like the willow in the storm, resilient and rooted in the belief that we will not break. We must step into the arena of our fears, armed with the shield of our faith and the sword of our courage, ready to battle not just for the sake of victory, but for the growth that comes from the fight. The journey from challenge to triumph is a path paved with the stories of our resilience. These stories, our stories, are not defined by the challenges we face, but by how we rise to meet them, by the moments we choose to stand up after a fall, dust ourselves off, and walk forward with a heart full of hope and a spirit unbroken. Let us not forget that within each of us lies an indomitable force, a wellspring of power that no challenge can diminish and no obstacle can extinguish. This power is fueled by our belief, nurtured by our dreams, and strengthened by the love and support of those who walk beside us. So as we navigate the landscapes of our lives, let us do so with the knowledge that no mountain is too high, no valley too deep, and no river too wide. With belief as our compass and resilience as our guide, there is no challenge we cannot overcome, no dream we cannot realize, and no destiny we cannot achieve. The journey of cultivating belief begins with the soil of self-awareness. Take a moment, pause, and reflect. What are the beliefs that currently reside within you? Are they beliefs that lift you, empower you, and propel you forward? Or are they weeds choking the life from your dreams? The first step then is to tend to this garden, removing the weeds of doubt, fear, and limitation, making room for the seeds of hope, courage, and possibility. Now imagine holding a seed in your hand, a tiny speck, seemingly insignificant, yet within it lies infinite potential. This seed is your dream, your goal, the vision you hold for your life. To plant this seed, you must first create a clear and nurturing space within your mind and heart. This is done through the practice of visualization. 
Close your eyes and see your dream as if it has already come to fruition. Feel the joy, the satisfaction, the sense of accomplishment. Let this vision be so vivid, so real, that it ignites a fire within you, a burning desire to see it come to life. But a garden does not thrive on vision alone. It requires water, sunlight, and care. In the cultivation of belief, this nourishment comes through the words we speak to ourselves and the thoughts we allow to take root in our mind. Speak words of affirmation daily. Tell yourself, I am capable, I am deserving, I am ready. Let these words be the water that nourishes your seeds of belief, allowing them to sprout and grow. As your garden begins to take shape, with tender shoots of belief pushing through the soil, it's crucial to protect it from the elements that seek to harm it. Surround yourself with a community of fellow gardeners, those who believe in the beauty of their dreams and the power of their actions. This community will be your shelter, offering support, encouragement, and love, shielding your garden from the storms of negativity and doubt. Yet even with the best care, there will be times when the growth seems slow, when the buds of your dreams appear reluctant to bloom. It is in these moments that patience becomes your greatest ally. Remember, the mightiest oak was once a seed that held its ground. Trust in the process, trust in the timing, and trust in yourself. Believe that what you have planted will blossom in its own perfect time. In cultivating belief, we must also learn to embrace failure, not as an indication of our inadequacies, but as a necessary step in the growth process. Each setback, each failure is but a lesson, a guidepost on the path to embrace these lessons, learn from them, and allow them to strengthen your resolve and deepen your belief in yourself and your dreams. As we walk through our garden of belief, tending to it with care, we begin to notice the changes not just in the garden but within ourselves. We stand taller like the trees that stretch towards the sky, rooted in the strength of our convictions and the certainty of our purpose. We find joy in the journey, marveling at the beauty of each bloom, each dream realized. And we share this joy with others, inspiring them to cultivate their own gardens of belief in the journey of life, where each step is a note in the symphony of our existence. Have you ever paused to consider the melody you create? The music of your beliefs, how does it resonate through the halls of the lives you touch? This, my dear friends, is the essence of our gathering today, to explore the profound impact our belief has on the world around us. Belief is not just a solitary flame, flickering in the darkness of our own challenges and dreams. It is a beacon, casting light far beyond our personal horizons, touching the hearts and igniting the spirits of those we encounter. Just as the sun does not choose who to shine upon, our belief radiated through our actions, words, and presence indiscriminately blesses all in its path. Think for a moment about a time when someone believed in you in a moment perhaps when you couldn't find that belief within yourself. Recall the strength it gave you, the way it lifted you from the mire of doubt and set you upon the shores of possibility. That belief was a gift. A powerful force that propelled you forward, not because it changed the world around you, but because it transformed the world within you. Now consider the reverse, the times when you were the giver of belief, the times when you saw a flicker of potential in another and fanned it into a flame. These moments, often small and unnoticed, are where true magic lies. For in believing in others, we offer them a mirror in which they can see themselves not as they are, but as they could be. This is the power we wield, a power that transcends boundaries, breaks down barriers, and builds bridges to futures unimagined. In the tapestry of humanity, each thread is interconnected, woven together in a complex pattern of existence. Our beliefs, the threads we contribute, have the potential to strengthen this tapestry, adding vibrancy, resilience, and beauty. When we choose to believe in the goodness of others, in their capacity for greatness, we do not just change their lives. We elevate the very fabric of our collective being. 
As we navigate the currents of our lives, let us be mindful of the wake we leave behind. Let us strive to ensure it is one of hope, of inspiration, and of unwavering belief in the boundless potential of the human spirit. For in the end, the greatest legacy we can leave is not one of material wealth or accomplishments, but one of having believed in others, having lifted them higher, and having contributed to the chorus of humanity with a melody that speaks of love, of compassion, and of faith in the incredible tapestry we all are a part of. As we stand here at the crossroads of our collective journey, poised on the brink of infinite possibilities, I ask you to pause. In the silence of this moment, can you hear the whispers of your dreams? Can you feel the pulse of your aspirations beating in rhythm with the promise of tomorrow? This is not the end of our journey together, my friends, but rather a beginning, a genesis of newfound belief and action. In the tapestry of existence, each thread, each color, each pattern represents the myriad beliefs and actions that have brought us to where we stand today. But the masterpiece is not yet complete. There are spaces yet to be filled, colors yet to be added, and it is within your power to contribute to this ongoing creation. The question then becomes, how will you leave your mark? Will you choose to weave threads of courage, of compassion, and of unwavering belief into the fabric of our shared humanity? Belief in its purest form is an act of defiance against the odds, a rebellion against the limitations placed upon us. It is the fuel that powers our journey towards the realization of our dreams. But belief alone, while powerful, is but half of the Action is its counterpart, the physical manifestation of our inner convictions. To believe is to dream. To act is to awaken those dreams to the dawn of reality. As we prepare to step forward, to embark on the paths that lie ahead, I urge you to carry with you the belief in the boundless potential that resides within each of us. Let this belief be your compass, guiding you through the challenges, illuminating the darkness, and leading you towards the light of your highest aspirations. But do not stop at belief. Let it inspire you to act, to take those bold steps towards the fulfillment of your dreams. For it is an action that belief is tested, tempered, and ultimately transformed into the steel of character, resilience, and purpose. Let your actions speak of your belief, not in whispers, but in roars, not in shadows, but in the brilliance of the noonday sun. As we draw this gathering to a close, I extend to you an invitation, a call to believe and act with a courage that knows no bounds, with a love that knows no barriers, and with a hope that knows no limits. Let them walk together, hand in hand, heart in heart, towards a future where belief and action converge in a symphony of change, progress, and unity. In every breath, in every step, let us reaffirm our commitment to believe in ourselves, in each other, and in the beauty of our dreams. And let us act with the knowledge that each action, no matter how small, is a ripple in the vast ocean of existence, capable of creating waves of change that reach far beyond our imagining. So, as we part ways, let us not say goodbye, but rather let us say, until we meet again. For in the journey of life, our paths are intertwined, guided by the shared belief in our ability to create, to love, and to transform. Together, let us believe, let us act, and let us rise to the calling of our shared destiny, crafting a world where belief and action walk hand in hand towards the horizon of infinite possibilities.